What is up, you guys? This is Ryan back again with another episode of Pack and Play, and we're only five days away. Five days away until Madden 15. Hopefully, you guys are as pumped up as I am. I can't wait to be in line at GameStop at midnight, get the game home, record some videos, get something up. Uh, my question to you guys is, number one, uh, how are you going to get the game? Are you going to download it from the Marketplace on Xbox, the PSN Store, uh, on the PS4, maybe on the PS3 or Xbox 360? Um, are you going to go to GameStop? Which store are you going to go to? Uh, are you going to get it at midnight? Are you going to get it home when you get back home from school? Maybe in the morning? Um, let me know what you guys are going to do. And then again, another question. Do you guys want to see the videos as I make them? So if I get the game at midnight and I have the introduction to my, you know, series that I'm going to be doing, whatever I'll be doing, maybe it's going to be Road to the Super Bowl, opening up some packs, getting my team ready for head-to-head -head seasons. Do you want to see the videos right then and there as soon as I get them recorded? Or do you want to wait in the morning before you guys go to school? If you go to school... Or would you just like to see them when everyone gets out of school, maybe around 2.30, 3 o'clock Eastern Time? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see, what uploading schedule you'd like me to get into. Um, me personally, I'm going to be all pumped up. I'm going to want to do it right away. But I know not a lot of people are actually going to be awake at midnight because a lot of people do go to school and stuff like that. So definitely let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. Uh, and eventually I'll get into a schedule so I'll always be able to upload when you guys are home. And you can see everything right there popping up in your sub box. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this pack and play game that we're playing. Uh, we already started off 3 nothing. It's already, you know, counting down the minutes here to go into the half. And this guy gets a monster touchdown right here. I make a mistake trying to go for a strip with Earl Thomas after he caught the ball. In between my defenders, takes it all the way for a touchdown. So 7-3. to three. We got a game on our hands. We're going to go ahead and throw a slant here to Greg Olson. Get ourselves the first down. Gain of about 12. And then Danny Woodhead's going to take the handoff up the middle right. And get it for a gain of about five. He already has 62 rushing yards. Danny Woodhead's doing his thing. Uh, if we didn't go for the spin right there, I probably could have got the edge. Probably could have got a big gain, but unfortunately, we did not. Sammy Watkins with the catcher here for a first down. And he gets injured on the play, unfortunately. Uh, Sammy Watkins has not been himself ever since uh, this season has started. I need to get him going. Um, big hit right there on Cam. We get a nice big gain, though. And then Danny Woodhead gets shut down at the middle. We're going to give him the ball right back to the right-hand side. He's up picking up the first down. Fumbles the ball on the play. And my opponent recovers, but it does get overturned. We do get the ball back. And now we got Woodhead going to the left. And Franco Harris misses a block that would set up a touchdown, unfortunately. Go play action on this play. We're looking downfield. We're getting pressured like crazy. End up throwing across the field to Woodhead. Doesn't catch the ball. So third down and 11. 57 seconds to go until half. Out route to Jordy Nelson. Goes out of bounds. Fourth down and four. And we're just going to go ahead and take the safe route. Take our points and ensure that this guy doesn't go up by a big margin. And we take our points. Now it's 7-6. to six, And Jamal Charles is going to find his seam. And he's going to go all the way. But we end up shutting him down right there with D'Amico Ryans. He wasn't going to get that touchdown. I guess he double taps X right there trying to get the ball off. Ends up throwing it away. So second down to 10. Gain of about 2 right there to Jamal Charles. Third down at 8. He needs to find something downfield. And he gets intercepted by Brandon Browner. Let's go, Brandon Browner. We're going to return this to the 50, the 40, 30. Make a cut move at the 20, 10, 5 end zone. Touchdown, Brandon Browner doing his thing as he usually does. Brandon Browner has been my best player throughout this pack and play series. I'm so happy to have him. I was so happy to pull him. And I know you guys are probably wondering when I pulled him, like, why are you freaking out over Brandon Browner? He's only 94 overall. He's not the best cornerback. Well, let me tell you what, guys. I think he is the best cornerback in this game. I know there's guys like the Deion Sanders ultimate legend and the Dick Lane ultimate legend, but I'll take Brandon Browner any day. Six foot four, decent speed. And, you know, maybe I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but. I really like Brandon Browner. I really hope that this year he does really good and he gets some really good cards because his card is going to be crazy when it's fully upgraded. Maybe he gets like a golden ticket. If anyone pulls a golden ticket that's watching this video and you remember it when you pull the golden ticket, please create a Brandon Browner. He is going to be crazy, guys. Best cornerback in Madden. Six foot four. Let's go. Anyways, let's stop talking about Brandon Browner. Talk about what this guy's doing right here. Fourth down and goal. Ends up getting shut down here by Reggie White. And it doesn't matter because I make a mistake. I try to go to circle. And I run into the back of the end zone, end up getting a safety. So 13 to 9, third quarter. And Jamal Charles is going to do his thing again. He already has 14 rushes for 125 yards, running all over me. I cannot stop him. So now we're in the fourth quarter. We have to get a defensive stop. Take a look at this. Reggie Wayne, one handed catch all over my user player. And he's already down to the 32 yard line on his route to scoring. End up shutting down Jamal Charles right here. Patrick Willis. Definitely, like I said, need to get him more involved in the defense. And Brandon Browner, we've been talking about him all game. Gets the interception, baby. Spin move, and he's going to be taken down around the 28-yard line. 
Two interceptions for Brandon Browner today is pretty much going to save this game for me. I could have lost right there. So let's go ahead and see if we can get anything going. We're going to find an open Franco Harris, and he gets popped. And you already know it's going to be defensive PI. So we got the ball now at the 49-yard line. And Danny Woodhead's going to take it all the way for a gain of about eight. So now we have to get a first down. One first down wins this game. Woodhead shut down for a loss of two. And we're going to try to run the QB wrap. And we end up getting shut down. No gain on the play. He takes a timeout. We're going to go for it. We see Jordy Nelson wide open right here on the slant. And oh no, he drops the ball. So he has a minute and three seconds left to get on the board, get a touchdown, and win this game. We need a stop here. 48 seconds to go. He's going to find a tight end down the middle of the field. He's at the 44-yard line now. Clock's ticking. One timeout. He's going to find a wide open receiver downfield. It's tight end again at the 25-yard line. Clock's ticking. 27, 26, 25. Jamal Charles doesn't get out of bounds. Clock is ticking, guys. 16 seconds to go now. 16 seconds. He's going to go ahead and find a receiver on the comeback route. Oh, my goodness. He caught the ball. This is going to be the last play of the game. Sammy Ball drops back. He's going to find a receiver. Wide open. It's Keenan Allen at the one-yard line. And he doesn't make it one yard short one yard short everyone likes to tell me ryan one yard short tennessee titans one yard short well i just got revenge one yard short we got a pack to open guys let's go and we are back guys what a crazy finish one yard short for that guy i feel really bad if that was me i'd probably be raging right now uh but we do have a pack to open return to the live commentary warren sap hall of fame collectible craig Dahl. And playoff Adam Jones. Again, something we can't use. But unfortunately, that's how it goes. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.